Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Clash of Clans. This is your host, this is AJ Gaming. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on that bell so you are first notif notified when I bring out another video. Now, this week is the August season of CWL and my clan Oz is in Masters 2. So for anyone that is in the Masters area, wherever you've been in Masters 3, 2, 1, this is pretty much the standard of bases you will find. Now, for those that are in Champions 3, 2, and 1, you're generally going to find 15 vs 15 max Town Hall 12s. Now, not all clans have max Town Hall 12s. We have maybe one or two that is completely maxed. Some, an extra few on attack, but on defense, still got a bit to go. So, these are generally the type of clans that you'll be facing in Masters League. Um, I know in the 30 vs 30, we tried once, there was way too many clans we versed that had way too many Town Hall 12s, even though they were still new, we only had a, only a few Town Hall 12s and a few Town Hall 11s, so like I said before, this is pretty much the standard. Um, this is one of our attacks from Toe in our first war. He managed to get the free star with the Electro Loon attack. Now, if you saw from the beginning, that was one of the best ways to funnel with the Electro Dragons. He managed to get a whole call of them go towards that town hall with the loons. Now, Toe does a little bit differently, which again, I'm gonna show you in the second war what he does. With his Siege Machine, he likes to use the War Wrecker and he likes to have his Grand Warden on ground. Now, again, that is entirely up to you how you wanna do your air attacks. Most people like to have the Stone Slammer with some loons in case the Electros don't activate that Town Hall or they skip it. You can always drop that Stone Slammer late and take out that Town Hall. Or you could use it towards the end to distract some of those final defences while the Electro's Chain Lightning takes them out by surprise. So again, this is all different types of attacks I'm going to show you today. The first two are pretty much the same just because it is the same person. But again, good attacks here. And with the Grand Warden ability here, unfortunately, those balloons were just outside the radius. So again, if his Grand Warden was on air, his radius is a lot larger. So he might have been able to get those um, balloons in that radius and could have kept them alive. But again, it's still a nice attack here. Still plenty of troops left. Still got that queen ability. And again, it all comes down to spell time and placement in your attacks. So it doesn't matter if you're in Champions 1 or if you're in Crystal. It's all the same. It's all how you plan out your attack, try to create that funnel. Once you get that funnel, then it comes down to spell time and placement. And if your experience is like pretty much everyone does, every time you seem to hit one of your hero's abilities, there's a giant bomb, there's bombs, and it kills down all your archers, all your barbarians. It's super frustrating, but it seems to happen literally all of the time. So again here, this base wasn't very strong. The defenses were, but the walls weren't, so like I said, if you're new to Masters, this is the similar type of bases you're going to be going up against. They're not going to be all maxed out. So it is good to practice with. And if you do have clanmates who are maxed, just keep hitting them for any challenges. Try to hit them up on their wall bases so you kind of get that practice. And then when it comes to going up against these bases here, it might be a little bit easier for you. And again, this is another standard type of base the walls are very low I think they made me town hall the start of town hall nine walls so again it is very crucial to get your walls up because I think you might see in this attack if he actually had town hall 12 or even town hall 11 walls this attack would not have been a free star but again this was a pretty decent attack from Isaac coming in with the queen charge he has some peckers bowlers and witches Pretty much a good combination, and because of the single infernos, what you generally like to use with this type of attack is the bat spell, just because the bats are so quick, and because it's a single inferno, they can, the single inferno can only attack one bat at a time. 
So a lot of people like to use bats on single infernos, which is probably why you generally will see a lot more infernos on the multi-target, just because of that range of the multi, they literally just melt the bats like butter and there's no really no point of using the bat spell. But again, pretty nice attack here. The queen didn't go towards the town hall, which I think he would have liked to at the start, but as you can see, managed to get draw the clan castle out. Great use of the Grand Warden's Eternal's home there. Managed to salvage all those troops in the core. And he's still got an Ice Golem, which, of course, the healers had to find it and target it. Just like the normal Golems, healers seem to love them so much that they seem to ignore every other troop and just continue with them. Luckily here, that because the Ice Golem was at full health, he decided to come back and help the Queen, which is... I don't understand how that happens because if it was me, my healers probably would have just done a 360 and started healing a witch or a archer or something like that. That's what generally seems to happen sometimes. But again, like I said, good attack here, plenty of witches left, got those skellies going. That inferno is being distracted by those skellies, which is what you want. Still got the Grand Warden and Queen full health, even though the abilities have been used, that it's pretty good at this stage of a war attack and as you can see only a couple of buildings left you got the cannon that single and the archer tower which will go down very shortly here and luckily there was still a healer alive because he is going to distract the inferno which is able to get this queen to go in and take out the inferno so again guys, this is what I'm saying when it, when it comes to Town Hall 12 and if you've seen my upgrade guide video, try to get your walls up close to max before going to the next Town Hall and don't work on too late. Like this, these walls here were probably a good three Town Halls earlier so again, that would have stopped a free star there so like I said, walls are very crucial. And again, this one here is another rushed base here. The Expos are still pretty low, I think they're level 4 for three of them and one of them might be level 3 or 2. So again very low on some of the defences but they've got their equal max so again like I said when it comes to upgrading or war attacks make sure you do at least your defences are max and your walls are close because when you get up to these attacks it just makes that a little bit easier for people who have close to max attack to freestart your base. So this is pretty much what we've come up against in the first four walls so far in the August CWL. We have won three of our four walls. We lost our last one on percentage, so we actually tied with the other clan, but unfortunately their percentage was a little bit higher than ours, so they got us on percentage, which it sucks because they get the 10 extra bonus stars. They should probably do five each for a tie. I think that'd be a little bit fairer, but again, that's what the rules are and we have to put up with them for now. And again, this attack a minute to go, Brandon puts in a really nice bowlers and witches. Again, that's one of his specialty attacks. It is pretty strong bowlers and witches at Town Hall 12. Mix in there again with witches, and you just get a pretty good combination, which is just overpowering bases. This one here does again come to close to the end of I think just the queen left up against this time a multi inferno. So if this was a single inferno, it probably would have stopped the free star. So again, it is a very um, a bit strange how some bases the single inferno can't really stop you, and then on other times if you need. <laughs> Needed to start the freestyle, you really needed that single inferno, but like I said guys, this is, just comes down to practicing your attacks. Get that farming going, get, get your defenses up, get your walls up again. As you can see right here, these walls are Town Hall 9, so this, and these have been from two different clans, so again guys, like I said, get those defenses up. That is going to do for today, I hope you guys enjoyed some of these attacks, and as always, happy clashing.